I'm actually going to defend Konami in a video for once. Don't worry, I'm not fully defending them, but I think there are some good points that should be made. Let's dive on into this, shall we? Destroy the ever-living boo-boo Yu-Gi-Oh product stain off of that like and subscribe button as well as that ding-dong notification bell so that we can climb even higher the 1200 ladder. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. I really do appreciate all of the support. So, Ruxin34, you may have heard of him. He just has, I don't know, 207,000 subscribers. And he posted a video uh, the other day, I'm looking at it here, 11 days ago, it's called Yu-Gi-Oh! Has a Big Problem. In the thumbnail, he shows where one uh, local game store says, we're done selling Yu-Gi-Oh! I think that was just part of the thumbnail. But there are OTS stores, just local card shops in general, saying, hey, we're no longer selling Yu-Gi-Oh! because the margins aren't there. And I highly suggest that you go look at this video because Ruxin really breaks down the numbers well. This is sort of like his shtick. He opens up like packs and boxes, sealed product in general, right? It's a really interesting video to watch if like you're into product openings and stuff. And one of the things that he talked about was that a lot of stores are done selling Yu-Gi-Oh! They're done carrying it because the margins aren't there because the product has gotten more expensive over time. And there's also been, if you've noticed in like the release schedule, there's been a lot of products kind of coming out back to back within like, I would say two to three weeks of each other. And one of the things that he said in the video is that this is going to cause issues for buyers of the product because the distributors will only allocate so much. You can't necessarily pick and choose which product you want to get because then that will hurt the future purchases from the distributor if you're uh, a local game store, right? So like, let's take, I don't know, whatever your local OTS store is. And your local OTS store says, I'm going to buy, let's say, 10 cases of Power of the Elements. It's a very good set. Well, the distributor may only have enough with all of the orders coming in from other stores to give you, let's say, five cases. Then let's say the Soul Burning Volcano side set comes out, which the Soul Burning Volcano set is garbage. I mean, we're talking Genesis Impactors garbage. And you're like, well, I'm a store. I don't really want to lose my ass on this product. I'm going to pass on it. And then let's say now Age of Overlord is coming out in October. Hey, I want to get 10 cases of Age of Overlord. And the distributor may say, well, you didn't get Soul Burning Volcano. I'm going to give you two cases of Age of Overlord. And then it's like you're losing money out now because you're only getting two cases of the product. And once you get through those two cases, you're done. So you're always incentivized to constantly go back to the distributor, constantly go back to that well because you want to look like you're always going to be getting product and keep that relationship going with that distributor. And it's really asinine because it essentially choke holds the OTS stores. No matter how good or garbage a product is, Konami is going to be able to offload it to the stores because they know, or at the very least, if they don't know, the distributors know that they have them by the balls. I mean, we're not just saying they got them by the balls. I mean, they are squeezing the life out of them by their balls <laughs> and saying, you either get this product or I'm not going to give you shit when the next set comes out. And... This is both a Konami issue and also a distributor issue. It's also not a Konami issue fully, right? Now, let me explain before you're like, oh, Konami's a crap company because we all know none of us always agree with what Konami does. The biggest problem with this was COVID and the delays that came because of COVID and supply chain issues. Remember when Tactical Masters was supposed to come out and then we noticed on the European side of the game that they updated the release schedule and then sure enough, like what was it, two weeks later or something or a few hours even, I think it was, they updated the release date for Tactical Masters to be postponed by a few weeks. We saw this for a lot of sets. I mean, it, Tactical Masters, I think Hidden Arsenal got delayed. I think some core sets got delayed until those finally got worked out to where then we weren't getting core sets delayed. We were just getting like side sets delayed, which wasn't the best, but it was fine because at least our 100 card core booster sets weren't getting delayed. Because if you think about it, really, the moneymaker majority of the time, I would argue, for Yu-Gi-Oh! and for Konami 
is the core booster sets. You know, side sets, they may introduce a couple things. They're usually duelist pack sets from over in the OCG. So like over in the OCG, they have duelist pack Valiant Smasher. Well, what's our next side set? Valiant Smasher. Like it's, it's the same thing. They just kind of repackage the naming a little bit. And so the issue with these delays is that everything started getting compounded. And I remember thinking back when the delays were first happening, I was like, you know, this is eventually going to be an issue, whether it's six months, a year, two years down the road, eventually like the train is going to be like hitting each other like bumper cars, like all the little, I don't know, bits of the train that are connected together. Like they're all gonna start hitting each other on the track, whatever that's called. Um, and now we're seeing kind of the fruits of that labor happen. You know, if you think about it, even with core sets, we got Duelist Nexus, uh, like what, a month ago, if that? And in October, we're getting Age of Overlords. So that's like a three month gap. You know, if you notice, usually core booster sets are consistently four months apart from each other. They're usually not two to three months apart because you want to give the set enough time to breathe. You want to give the set enough time to get in people's hands and out to Walmart and places like that so that you can offload that product before you go on to the next one and then it just kind of takes the the placeholder of the previous set you know same with side sets you want to have a side set that people can buy and then a core booster set that people can buy and go from there you want tactical masters because you want the runic stuff okay let's have that be on the shelves for a couple months to, for you to get your runic stuff to play it before we release the next side set that then takes that slot on the shelf so to speak and really, had it not been for all the delays, I don't think we would be seeing these issues. On top of that, where this is Konami's fault, uh, is that not every set is going to be a banger. And that's the biggest issue for OTS stores, is that they're grabbed by the balls by these distributors, and possibly even Konami too. I mean, who knows how all that back engine stuff works, um, which I'll be telling a story about that in a minute. But... Uh, to to feel like you have to invest into these crap sets for lack of a better term and then lose your money on it it's it's not fair to the OTS stores like no wonder they don't want to carry it because the money is just potentially not there you're either breaking even barely or you're losing like a, a few bucks or you're losing 80 bucks you know you're you're losing money it doesn't matter how little or how much it is and so not every set is going to be a banger. You know, not every set's going to be power of the elements level good. You know, there was a story, and this is what I was just talking about a second ago. There was uh, something that one of my, how do I word this? One of my OTS people, one, one of the workers at the OTS store was telling me how um, they have to invest so far out for Yu-Gi-Oh! in particular. This isn't with Magic or Pokemon, but Yu-Gi-Oh! in particular. They have to invest so far out in order to get their pre-orders in for sets when like even we as the community don't know what's in the set. For example, um, the Ubel stuff that got revealed in Phantom Nightmare, uh, once that Ubel stuff got revealed, or hell, even once Phantom Nightmare got announced, uh, at that point, OTS stores now have to decide, okay, are we going to invest in Phantom Nightmare? Like they have to start putting their orders in like, if they're lucky, like a month out like a month later from that point, once it gets revealed in the OCG, when yet we're probably not even gonna get something like Phantom Nightmare until December and probably more like January, just to be able to give Ava and Shove Overlord a few months to breathe. So it's not exactly the best system all around, whether you're a distributor, whether you're a storefront, it's really rough in that regard. And so my point to Ruxin34 is that yes, Yu-Gi-Oh has these problems now, but I think over time, they're going to sort of work themselves out, especially like the more that time passes and the more that sets get settled in and we get settled into release dates um, to where there aren't delays and things. I think that that's going to help a lot. On top of that too, the another point that he mentioned, if I remember off the top of my head, was that there are so many cards in the game, it's hard to reprint everything. And that is very much true. Um, but that is what the side sets are for, is to reprint stuff and it's it's kind of a catch-22 in that regard. That's why, like, having a, a storefront is... Having a local game store is hard. Like, you, you have to be able to make good on those margins or else you are going to shut down quick. Um, but I do believe that it's going to work out for Yu-Gi-Oh! It's just going to take time. You know, we're, we're finally seeing where all the delays have happened that it's just sort of crashing everything together. And I, I think eventually it will work itself out. It's just having to invest so far out for Yu-Gi-Oh! Specifically for the storefronts hurts a lot. You know, imagine that, you know, 
there was a product that you wanted to invest in and you had to decide a year out if you were going to invest in it or not. And you don't even really know what's in the product. Like that's not fair to you. So guys, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Again, go check out Ruxin's video. I, I, I let this marinate in my body for a couple days before I actually made a video. So I could have, I'm hoping I didn't get anything wrong that he was talking about in the video. I don't want to mess up anything that he talked about, but regardless, it was about product. Product has been an issue. Um, and I, I feel like overall, it just comes down to the fact that not every product is going to be a banger, but the distributors have the storefronts by the balls and that's not right. So guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.